D'Angelo Russell, it's time to pack your bags and hop on the first thing smoking out of Los Angeles. Hey, Britt Johnson here. Thanks for tuning in to The Fumble. For more sports news and commentary, make sure you click subscribe and join the notification gang for updates on all the latest. I'm sure most of you basketball fans already heard the news that NBA baller D'Angelo Russell has been traded to the Brooklyn Nets just two days before the NBA draft. D'Angelo Russell was drafted to the Lakers second overall in the 2015 draft. He soon became everyone's most hated player after he showed a video on social media of his teammate Nick Young admitting he was cheating on his then fiance Iggy Azalea. His teammates and most fans soon forgave him. This past season, he averaged 15.6 points, 4.8 assists, and 3.5 rebounds as a member of the 26 and 56 record Lakers. Did you think D'Angelo Russell was going to be the future of the Lakers? Let me know in the comments below. Well, if you did say yes, you weren't the only one. In fact, the reason why this trade is so interesting is because it reminds me a lot of what happened to Terrell Owens with, you know, the Dallas Cowboys. Remember when T.O. said he sat down with Jerry Jones and Jerry Jones said he was not going to cut him and lo and behold, just a few days later, bye bye Terrell, Cowboy said, time to go. Well, Magic Johnson didn't do the same exact thing, but it was pretty close and we actually have it all on record. We have not one, not two, but three tweets Magic tweeted over the last three years. In 2015, he said this, Laker Nation, congrats to Mitch Kupchuk, Jim and Jeannie Buss on drafting who I think is the future superstar in D'Angelo Russell. And let's fast forward to May 2016. Laker Nation, I'm looking forward to being a mentor to D'Angelo Russell on and off the court. And let's take it all the way up to February 2017, which was just a few months ago. D'Angelo Russell and I had a good conversation before the Lakers vs. Celtics game. I look forward to working with him. Well guys, if this isn't a lesson learned, trust nothing you hear and only half of what you see apparently. What do you guys think of Magic Johnson's wishy-washy ways on D'Angelo Russell? Let me know in the comments below and make sure you click subscribe before you go.